This is CCTV User. Good evening, everybody. Today I thought I would just do something a little bit different. Rather than stick a camcorder at the screen and record this Panasonic camera, I thought I would use some capture software. Now it's still not going to be the best. And the reason being is because I'm currently watching this stream over the network from the DVR. Now the only way I'm going to be able to bring you pure footage is to record an output from the DVR. Actually record the signal, the video signal, and not the network signal. That is a little bit too much hassle to do. I would have to take a laptop upstairs and all sorts to get that feed. So I'm just going to record this and see what this comes out like. Apologise for the parrots in the background. As many of you are aware, you know my opinion on these cameras. These are the best you can buy. In fact, it's not an opinion, it's a fact. Amazing quality for an analog camera. I hope to bring you the 720p version later on when I get it installed. A little bit of digital zoom, you can see we're losing a bit of quality there. Let's bring it back out to optical, which is 30, because we've got 30 times zoom. So that is the optical. Anything going on up there? I'm not going to do much talking. I'm just going to let you look. Actually, this black bar you can see up here, that is the top of the camera, top of the housing. And the reason you can see that is because I've got the tilt setting turned on to high. Um, if I had that turned off, the maximum I would be able to tilt the camera would be to about there. But I like to be able to see everywhere, so I have the tilt setting turned on full. Which lets me raise the camera higher than the factory settings. There's a Denard housing there. Um, crappy. Well, it's not supposed to be crap. That is a Honeywell day and night camera with LEDs, but I can't stand that camera. The LEDs wash the image out. Um, and that is coming down to be replaced with a Panasonic camera. And when I moved in here, I didn't have quite enough Panasonic cameras. But I've been buying as many as I could over the past couple of months. Scooping them up on eBay as they came on. Paying a little bit more than what I would normally pay for them. So by the end of the summer this year, I will have a full Panasonic camera system. Won't be using anything but Panasonic cameras. And the reason for that is, 
It's because if I want to adjust this camera, or any of the other ones, I have to get the ladders out, take the front of the dome off, and start playing with switches and dip switches, and that is a right pain in the arse. But when I put Panasonic cameras up there, I will build a control them Panasonic cameras from the comfort of my sitting room because I can have remote control over them and get into the menus from this DVR that is the Panasonic's camera menu there and all my other Panasonic cameras function in the same way you can control them remotely and set the settings from your DVR. Just trying to show you the quality of this I think I'm going to have to manually adjust the focus yes we are because we're, that camera is only a couple of foot away from that wall in fact the camera is too close to the wall to zoom right in and keep the focus It's not going to let me do that because the camera is too close to the wall anyway. Bring it out a little bit more. Should be able to get it on t on six times zoom. Bring it back out and let it auto focus. But yeah. Thought you would like to see the camera through the screen capture software. But yeah. There you go ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hope you've enjoyed that, just a little bit play around, a little bit piss about on an Easter Sunday. You can see how well it adjusts to the bright light, many cameras would struggle to do that, that's because it's got a very good lens, it controls its own iris perfectly. more you zoom in the more it will clear up now look at that image there that looks crystal clear that but yeah there we go thanks for watching